Hello everyone. I know all of you are tensed. Exams are tomorrow. Even I was tensed before the examination. There is a fear that we have forgotten this concept, this format and all of that. That's absolutely fine. Accept it. And in the next four to five minutes, I'm telling you a few things which can actually change the way you appear in the examination and change your score in the examination without wasting much of your time because you're writing your examinations. In tomorrow's paper, the first paper, and for a lot of you, you are writing the CA inter examination for the first time. You might be confused as to how to approach the paper. Now, first thing, try to target this MCQ for 30 marks in the first 45 minutes time that is available. That is what you have to do as far as MCQs are concerned. I've been telling this and at the cost of repetition, I'll tell you that not more than two minutes per question. If you're not able to get to the answer, you can do it subsequently. Now, when it comes to the main paper, these are the questions that you should be focusing on. Typically, we have seen you get a question on consolidation, amalgamation, financial statements, the PNL and balance sheet, cash flow statement. Then sometimes on internal reconstruction or small questions, sometimes you may get a longer question also. Buyback and branch accounting. Now, when you look at these set of questions, a lot of you may be scared, especially of this consolidation and amalgamation. It is natural at your level because you are seeing these type of questions for the first time, it is natural that you are scared. So what you instead do is try to first extract maximum possible from financial statements and cash flow. See PNL and balance sheet, you have been preparing right from 11th standard. So this is something which you can handle, correct? So that you should try to complete first because you will not get many unique adjustments. Then you can maybe move on to if it is a question on buyback, there are typical standard questions which are asked. Internal reconstruction also is more about language. You can target these questions before you come to these two big monsters. Now, one thing I want all of you to ensure is that not to miss these two questions, not to miss these two questions. It's OK. You can do it towards the end. No problem. But attempt these two questions and also this financial statement question. The reason being the advantage of step marking. Because ultimately, when you prepare a consolidated balance sheet or when you prepare, a, you know, after amalgamation balance sheet, you are adding two numbers and the breakdown of the marks is around four marks is allotted for your balance sheet. Around three to four marks is allotted for your notes to accounts and the balance four to six marks, if you know, depending on the level of questions is allocated for your working notes. So if you can do some working notes correctly, if you can do some part of the balance sheet correctly, if you can prepare the notes to account some part of it correctly, then out of 14 marks, we are looking at somewhere around eight marks from this question. If it is perfectly done, this question can give you 14 out of 14. Sir, but I'm confused about this adjustment, that adjustment, even in that scenario, scoring eight marks is possible. So eight here and eight here, this will itself give you some 16 marks advantage. All right. Then in the financial statements, unless it is a very, very tricky adjustment or you miss out, miss out some point, 10 marks is something we can easily target here. Buyback is generally a standard question. We should be able to get about six marks out of this. So 16 plus 10, 26 plus six, 32 marks. We should be able to secure in these questions. Then in MCQs, I've been telling you 20 marks, at least you should target and balance accounting standard questions, balance theory questions should give you the additional marks that will help you comfortably reach 60 marks, right? So this should be a strategy. If at all you are scared with consolidation amalgamation, do it towards the end. Okay. And while reading the question, the first 15 minutes, don't read question number one because it is anyway a compulsory question. So don't read that. Read the remaining five questions without reading the amounts. Read the remaining five questions without reading the amounts and figure out which question are you comfortable with. Start with your best question. Start with your best question and ensure working notes are compulsorily given wherever required. And one thing it has happened that the 70 marks paper has become lengthy. So to attempt 70 marks may be sometimes difficult, but try to attempt as much as you can, especially don't leave out the question on final accounts and amalgamation. And if you are even slightly comfortable with consolidation, attempt that question as well. If the question is familiar, okay. If you get an, any question, which is tricky, if you get an adjustment, which you have seen for the first time, don't break your head on that. You do it towards the end. Focus on what you can answer properly. So out of 70 marks, whatever you can answer properly, first try to cover your 50 marks paper out of 70. Then balance 20 marks, you can have a look at it. All right. So that should be your approach. 
stay calm trust your preparation believe in yourself stay positive this is your first paper and you will be able to do it all the best from all our team at indigo learn and we'll see you after the examination to plan for your articleship and how do you proceed further for ca final thank you